Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or hey, even a subscription. Any of all help the channel grow, and they help get this series out in front of other people. Um, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we... I'm trying to remember what we did. So we went and got a load of scans for various sea truck modules, which is quite cool. Um and we had a poke around a couple of ships. Now, leveling with you guys, this isn't exactly the universe we left because at the end of the very last episode, you, I left it after I'd been eaten by the Chalissa Room and I was patching up the sea truck. Um, now, when I got back in the sea truck, after patching it up, I ran into a random bug where it kind of like got stuck halfway into that the chair and I couldn't save the game, couldn't do anything, so I had to, you know, replay everything um which i did in that episode which i did do i didn't do everything in the mercury 2 i kind of left that as was because we needed the laser cutter so we were coming back here anyway um the only other thing i picked up was around where we found that crash ship where we were getting the scans for the new scanner truck um i did manage to get some spiral plant clippings now i know i didn't get them before but there was no way i was just going to pass them up just for the sake of it so we have that now then i believe that means we can make yeah our water filtration suit which is good because how many do we need for synthetic fibers i don't want to use both we only need one which is great so we are going to use that and set that going and then after that i want to see how many of our sea truck upgrades we go we can get and the main thing i want to get done today is actually I do want to start doing the base. Right, so we've got titanium. Have I not got the stuff for a battery? So I've got copper there. Organic. Now I've got that. So I can make the battery. Yeah. Is it the crystalline sulfur? I thought I had a load of that. Oh, have I left it in the truck? Can you not read what's in the truck? Which would make sense. That's all nickel. No. Okay, apparently I didn't get any crystalline sulfur. I thought I had picked some up. Okay, fine. Either way, I'm going to clear these blueprints because that's not what I'm going to kick off with today. I'm going to want to do that uh, because we're going to want to get a base going. So, I'm then going to need to come back over here. And, yeah, we're going to need... I think it's two of them we need. Let's have a look. So, construction tool. Yes, two plastic ingots for a large room, which is what I want to do, because that's going to give us plenty of room to play with on a base. So, we need to make two of those. And then I have an idea where we're going to put it. Um, it was an answer that came through on the general request I put out on the Facebook chat. Um, so it wasn't one from this channel, which oh, I'm, I know people are figuring stuff out. But yeah, so I have an idea of where we're going to set up shop. And I think it's going to look quite impressive if I can set it up the way I'm imagining. So we got those. We are then going to need some i'm going to take the rest of that titanium because we're going to need it we are going to need all of that quartz i'm going to take the copper because we're probably going to need that because we're going to start with solar panels what do we need for that titanium ingot advanced wiring kit and four glass can i do that okay so i can do the titanium ingot which is good We need an advanced wiring kit, which we can't do because we can't even do a normal wiring kit. Do we not have any... We don't have any silver, do we? Okay, right. Well, we're going to want that. So, let's head... Hang on. First things first. Let's get this... We're draining the battery on that, so let's sort that out. Take these two fresh batteries out, put that there. 
So you get a fresh battery. You can have a fresh battery and we'll put both of the half dead ones in there to charge up while we're away. Right. So we need to get some silver. And I'm thinking the best place to get silver is going to be in some of the sea monkey caves around here. So let's go and have a look for some of those. Because, yeah, I want to get the dock set up. I want to get all the basics set up so we can effectively have somewhere we can call home and not just a room. So, yeah, I'm probably going to need to make a beacon as well. So I grabbed all the quartz. I think we're all right for some quartz to start with. I'm sure there are some sea monkey caves around over here. Right, I'm going to jump out of that because uh, titanium is fine, but I really want copper. Here we go. That's a sea monkey nest, so that's promising. Clang. And sea monkey caves. I'm not going to take the truck in there. I could, but I'm not going to. So... What's that? Oh, propulsion cannon. Something I don't think I've ever really used in below zero. Right, okay, so we... I hear a crash fish. Right, okay, come on. Where's the silver? That's gold, that's gold. Should be some silver around in here as well. There we go. Let's pick up a chunk while we're here instead of, you know, just getting the two pieces we need. Although we have got those two pieces nice and quickly, I will concede that. That's all gold again. plant. So there is a custom game mode that they've put in the latest patch, which is interesting because you can turn off the oxygen plants. It is both reassuring Ooh. and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. That's cool. So you can see it just popped up and gave us a blueprint for a quantum locker. And that is important because these artifacts left by the architects, what they do in this game is... Oh, come on, where's the way out? I've stumbled in here. Uh, is they will... Oh, hello. Oh, thank you. Sea monkeys have changed their tune. Uh, right, yeah. So what they will do is, as you collect them, they will give you more... Um, more and more architect kind of technology based builds so for example that quantum locker is something we will build because it actually slightly increases our storage space but it's actually designed for as a chest where you can build two of them put something in one of them and then take it out of the other one so that's meant to be for like helping to move things and have multiple places set up um how much silver have we actually got now we've got four okay all right we will run with that so let's get out of the cave and head back to the sea truck There it is. Okay. And then. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. Not only have they stopped stealing, they brought me something I actually needed. I may have to revise my opinion of them. Okay, so. We've got a large room. Can't do the enameled glass. We can probably do that. Right, let's... Let's head back and make the advanced wiring kit and see if we can make the four glass. Now, some of the reason I'm making some of these pre-made components uh, is because... Oh, there's a box I've not opened there. What is in here? Beacon. I thought I had the beacon. I did. It gave me titanium. That's fine. I really don't need the flare right now. 
food is always helpful. Okay, so. There we go. Right, so. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh, there's an even beacon there. You could just scan it instead of getting the thing. Right, I'm going to get some more quartz because we do. I think we are going to use an awful lot of glass. And we're always needing copper, so I'm just grabbing that while it's here. More quartz. Bump, bump. I think most of the other stuff we're going to be able to find where I'm planning to set up shop. Right. Have we got any water in our inventory? No. Because, ah, oh, that's what I was looking for, that reclaimed water. So let's put some of the resources we picked up in here. Right, and that then means we get our first reclaimed water. Vital signs stabilizing. Which is good, because that means water is going to be much less of a problem for us. Uh, but yes, so the reason that I'm going to do some of the prerequisite things that we need for stuff like the the sea track dock and whatnot um, is because, particularly with that one, where that is a new module that was put into the most recent patch, I don't know if the... Uh, easy craft mod is gonna work well with that so I want to sort of have everything ready for that and not have to rely on the easy craft mod for that particular part Welcome aboard, Captain. oh okay apparently I didn't leave them there right okay so it was an advanced wiring kit and then it was four glass wasn't it right let's pin that as a recipe we want that we need a hatch we also need at the very least that to get us going okay so yeah it is four glass now so let's get that going I think I picked up enough quartz okay right that should be enough to get us going. Right, I just want to make sure I've left at least three quartz in here, which I've definitely got to build the solar panel and the hatch. Now then, which way are we going? It is over in this direction. Because where I'm planning on building this is there's a section um, actually just past where I used to build. Uh, where I built in the coral bridges which is, is quite pretty but where I'm actually planning to build is just past that because uh, look here's all the coral bridges so last time I kind of built it overlooking this ravine so it kind of built over the edge off of one of these cliffs looking down which was quite cool um, however I've no idea where I put that because the save game doesn't appear to exist anymore but where I actually want to build this time is over here in this direction because there's quite a lot of resources over here and I just want to find somewhere good looking because I want to do it in this kind of purple event area where we've got those constant like explosions and pustules going off because I think that'll be quite cool to yeah like around here I think this would be quite a cool place to just look out the window and see all of this kind of stuff going off so this is where we're going to set up shop. I just want to find somewhere nice to do that. I kind of want to be surrounded by these. Nice drop off bit there. Fluid intake. There is a chalicerate that sometimes hangs around. Yeah, I think I think around here might be fun. So I'm thinking if we start it like here overlooking this. That's where I'm thinking. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So let's pop this over here. Okay, don't have any fluid yet. That's fine. Right, okay, so let's get our large room.
Mm, let's kind of put it like there. And we'll put the hatch on this end because then we can put windows on the sides. Right, and there is our hatch. And to at the very least make sure it has O2. Here is our solar panel. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Power Problem number one. Primary systems I'm going to need to raise that up because I really don't want these plants in the way. Okay, so I need to take take that down. Take that down. Take this down. And then try again. Let's put it a bit higher up. Okay. And then we'll return the hatch. And then we will return the solar panel. Okay. That's better. I don't have weird plants poking out the floor now. Okay. So then the plan is I can do stuff like... Yeah, look, that's quite a nice view. What do we have out this side? Yeah. We can do stuff like that. And we've got some nice views. That's, that's kind of what I'm looking for. And I will put a glass roof in at some point as well. Now, I believe we're also going to want to get our sea truck dock. Uh, there we go. Right. Okay, so that's got a thing in the way. Seek fluid intake immediately. Let's suck us right. Okay, I'm going to need to get some water from in here. There we go. Right. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. That's PDA. Calm down. Okay, so it was this dog we were having trouble with, wasn't it? Yeah. Ah, it will go there. Perfect. Go there. And then I'm one glass short because I built that one, didn't I? Okay. Right. And because I don't have a fabricator in the area, it won't let me uh, quick construct. There we go. Right, so that is our dock done. Which I have to admit, I'm quite excited to use this. We've n I've never had one of these before, because this is brand new for this patch. What it should do is it should let me come around here and basically park the sea truck in this tube. Oh, yeah, there's the arms getting ready. And then it drains, and there's all the water. That's quite cool. Oh, lovely, and even the storage... Oh, that's really cool. That Like, the bits that you've got on the back you've still got access to. Ah. Oh. Yeah, good job. That's a wonderful job. I like that. Okay. So, now we need to get going with construction. So, basic stuff. We are going to need a fabricator. I'm going to put one here to start with. But we get stuck on the copper ore. We do get stuck on the copper ore. And that's fine, because there should be at least enough stuff around here that we can move and find some bits. Plenty of quartz. Hoping this stuff's warm enough as well. We might even be able to use some of this for thermal power. Is that one? That one's a lead. That one's a silver. That one will be a copper. I mean, it's got titanium in it, but it had the chance of copper. 
Well, that's not too far. We've got various resources around, which is quite nice. That's a silver one. I thought that was a copper one. That's gold. Come on, one copper. It's another silver. All this lithium laying around, which is great. Speaking of which, I'm sure I needed some bits for an O2 tank I was working on. It's another C truck scan, so that would just be more titanium. Genuinely thought I brought copper with me. Yes, yeah, all right, thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. I saw the Chalissa right there, and I'm not in a position to do anything with you, buddy. Not while I'm just nipping around in a sea glide. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, that is a bigger problem. Come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Right, okay, that's the O2 sorted. Right, and then we need to go back down because I still need to find some copper. I need two bits actually because I do need to build a beacon so I can leave a marker here because I don't think I've got the resources to make a... I don't even know if I've got the scan for a control room yet. Because the control room is the other thing that will leave a marker to tell you where your base is. Right, that's more lithium. Lithium. Come on. What are we... Wow, there's a lot of sea truck bits there. So we've got a scanner module, an aquarium module, fabricator module, we need the crystalline sulfur, we've got a music disc, spare battery, ah, don't know I've ever found that before, oh there's a control room. Perfect. Just what I was talking about. Okay. So I have to add that to our list then. You know, behind everything else like scanner rooms and all of the other good stuff. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, alright. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we might have to take the truck back out to go and look for some copper, which is annoying because I was hoping to avoid that. But let's go in and re resort out Oxygen. our requirements. Okay, so blueprints. We can clear those now. So we need a control room and a scanner room are the two big ones I want at the moment. We're probably going to need some reinforcements in. Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly entertaining out this side. So let's put a reinforcement in here. Yeah, let's actually put it over here. There we go. That will give us the base strength because the last thing I want to do is this thing cracking apart. Right, let's go in here and get some food. That's that done, that done. Okay. So I need some... No, I need all... It's copper I need. Right. I think... Um, yeah, I think... I don't think I have any in here. Double check, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Nope. 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 Okay. Okay. So, again, let's go looking for some copper. Uh, 
You'd think I'd have learnt by now that I just need, you know, like, all of the copper in the world. Some more gold and more silver. What's that? That's all gold and silver. Right, these are definitely warm, so I can definitely get thermal power from these. Yay, copper! Right, okay. I need some more of that. Thank you. Where is it? Come on. Okay, so I think that's, yeah, that's two pieces we're up to. And I need at least one more. It's titanium, that's not what I need. Come on, one more. There we go. Right, that's our third copper. So now we can go back. We can finish that. We can get a scanner room. Which will be good. Because I like scanner rooms. They're nice and useful. We've got thermal power over here, which is good. We can run some wires. Yeah, I think this will be a nice little setup. And like I say, we've got all these like purple explode events around us. So it will hopefully look like quite an interesting view out the window. Okay. Oxygen. Oh, all right, we've got six seconds. We, I think we should make it back to the door. Lovely. Right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Finish building that. Then we're going to head back outside. And we want to put a scanner room. Is that is that weird thing still in the way? No. Okay. You don't like one being there. Fine. Can I put it out this side? Yes. So we can have a scanner room there. Table coral sample. Oh, okay. Right, well, we definitely have them back at the other one. Fine. Right. Uh, have we got the stuff for an advanced wiring kit? No, because we're missing the table coral, so we've definitely got to go back. Right, okay. So we will grow, go back into our sea truck. Yeah, I like this dock. The dock is cool. And it will put us out. Lovely. Right, okay, let's go back. Let's get some table coral. We'll try and strip as much as we can out of the little base we've got over here, and then we can get cracking with more at our new home base, which will be cool. Power is going to be the next big thing, because we're going to start ripping through that, and that one little solar panel isn't going to deal with it. I mean, that's going to give us enough to keep the sea truck charged, Maybe. Depends how flat we run the batteries. But it's, uh, yeah, when we get to stuff like water filtration bits and pieces, that's not going to be enough for it. But yeah, I think this is going pretty well, if I do say so myself. I'm kind of happy with that as a location. It's different to where I've been before. I think it will look a bit interesting. And there are going to be other bases that we, like, outposts, I'd sort of probably call them that we're going to set up but I think that's going to be our main centre of operations uh, and we can expand a little bit out from there so yeah I'm kind of pleased with that right and then we're going to want to get everything we can out of this one okay Welcome aboard, Captain. So we need some of that for a garden, some of that for a garden, some of this for a garden. All the table coral we can lay our mitts on. We've got gold. 
Copper we don't have anywhere. Quartz we've got back there. Yeah, that should do. Okay, so now we need to just try and head back to where we've set that up. And this is why I really wanted to get the control room going first. Um, because then I'd have a marker for it I can go back to. But we're just going to have to work off a little bit of memory here. So the plan is going to be to get those two bits built at the end of this episode. And then we can, yeah, ah, oh, scanner room. Look for things, which should make life much easier. Okay, here we are, coming back past these thermal vents. Which, like I say, that I think that's going to be part of the plan for power. go where we see the purple we're definitely heading towards home right we're kind of on these step bits aren't we yeah there it is you can see the lights from the dock beautiful so here comes the dock And then in we go. Yeah, I like that. The dock is cool. Oh, and I can rename it and do stuff from there. Okay, names up. I want to know what names we're going to call the sea truck this game. So, we're just going to, like I say, get out. We're going to finish a that scanner, scanner room. Will allow you to survey the surrounding region for fragments and material resources like lithium or copper or titanium if you need help finding it for whatever reason okay and then we'll put the control room at the end here and then we can start expanding outwards advanced wiring kit I thought I had everything for the advanced wiring oh no because guess what I need copper because you need to make copper wire for the wiring kit um yeah however right okay upgrades can we fabricate that's what I need, a computer chip and magnetite, oh lovely and we need copper for that okay fine, either way I'm not going to start hamming around and looking for copper right at the end of this episode, so here we have, we've got our base started we don't have a window we can put a window in sure I've got the glass for a window now no I don't Okay, alright, I will need to make some... I thought I had all the... Did I burn through all of that quartz? Yes, I did. Okay, alright, so we can't make a window. But either way, this is where our base is going to be sending up. This is where we're going to start, and we're going to start filling this out next episode. But that's going to begin with a bit of a resource gathering trip, I'm afraid. Um, but as usual, thank you very much to those that do do likes, comments, subscriptions, subscriptions. They all help the channel grow. They help get it out in front of other people and they let me know that you want to keep seeing this coming. So thank you very much for those that do that. Uh, and yeah, other than that, I will catch you all next time.